AOC McGretchen fans. So I was very lucky. I was perusing one of my used toy stores and this was there. This is from the AOC McGretchen collection number four. They're up to 14 now, I believe. So that means this is really old and this is Chase version. That's what the SP means on the base special. I assume that means special. I don't know for sure. So we got a typical screw here. This is a Ken Mary two door skyline. So it's the first generation Skyline, I believe, uh, but two door, or technically maybe it's the second generation. I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry. I learned more about the. Uh, I've talked about these cars so many times in the past that I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I'm just going to go over the. Toy. Sorry, I'm just throwing all that garbage out. All right. So unfortunately, Aoshima uh, has. Probably the lamest wheels in diecast collecting just is blanked off and stuff And I, I think that offends one of my viewers, but honestly man, these are not good wheels <laughs> They're just blanked off This is like a children like a three-year-old. I mean, this is like a Hot Wheels, but probably maybe even worse uh, I don't know. It's not good All right, they have true they do have treads and then you can unscrew them if you want but Aoshima never tells you what the car is. That's another another silly thing of, of theirs. They don't tell you what the car is. The white here of this chase is just plain white. It's not metallic or anything. And then they have the nice red tampo printing. The fender flares look like they could be a gunmetal color. And unfortunately, there's no they don't have any printing of the badging there. the The door handle is molded okay and is printed silver. The mirrors are just casted into the A pillar. There's some silver paint for the window trim there and on the side and on the back, so that's good. The hood here is a little bit of vent detail. You can see some of the casting on the edges there because white paint has a hard time covering up stuff. And that's every brand's problem, not just Aoshima. Unfortunately, there's a little contaminant right there, so that's too bad. We do have four clear headlights, which is nice. And then, uh, some sort of grill detail. That's perfectly smooth though. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way. I can't find any images of this car with this overhanging hood that Liberty Walk did. So it's too bad. Some silver and uh, well the silver bumper is just casted in but it's got some orange paint for the turn signals. A little bit of black in here is nice. Yeah okay. It technically rolls not very well. Uh, again, more contaminants, unfortunate. Uh-oh, look at that. That could be paint rash. It's very un unfortunate and very rare. Uh, not many of my Yoshimas have paint rash. It's like less than 5%, I would guess. Maybe less than 3%. But yeah, this car, I, I assume, is at least 15 years old, maybe, if it's from collection... At least 10 years old, if they're on collection number 14, right? And this is collection number 4. All right, uh, casted in rear bumper, red paint there, nice thick uh, red tail lights. You can see the light bouncing around in there. It's very nice. Two little exhausts, a blank, just a blank license plate. And then the interior is your typical, you know, black molded plastic. It's nothing great, but it's better than the Hot Wheels. Yeah, okay. If I had to guess, this model was probably $6 when it was brand new, so, eh, green lights are better. Green lights technically have more details, but I really like these Liberty Walk things. And uh, a chase model, yeah, uh, I'll pick it up, why not? Alright, that's it, let's compare it to a few other ones. Alright, here's a couple of other Gratian ones. So this again, has the overhang. This is pretty much, I think, the same casting, but this is the normal release. So it's just a nice metallic purple. I did repaint the interior of that one and I added some plastic BNDS, BNDS uh, wheels and the license plate to it. <clears throat> this one here, it's got some fender flares which makes it different. Uh, I think the rear wing, yeah, this one has rivets and these weird canted tail lights. So this is the type of image, I mean this is the type of uh, Ken Mary I find a lot of Google images of uh, when I do this kind of search. And they always look like that. <coughs> but 
but none with the overhangs. Uh, so it's too bad. This has BNDS alloy wheels on it. More normal looking one. Here's a Konami of a standard one. So it's a Katassi KPGC110. Konami has suspension too, if that matters to you. And then this is a freebie. This is by UCC Coffee. If you got two cans of their coffee at some point, you got this thing on top of those two cans. I swapped out the wheels though. That's a separate video. For a freebie, it's a really great model. There's no interior though at all. They're just dark smoked windows there. Okay. I guess I'll have to add a license plate to this one. I think I'll just leave the wheels alone because there's a special chase. I don't want to uh, kind of ruin that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If I ever have enough luck to find other special chases, uh, I'll pick them up. But uh, yeah, they're pretty far and few. Be far and few. All right, see you guys. Take care.